Hey ladies, so this is going to be my birth plan. Um, really, I don't really have much options because I am having a C-section and I kind of wanted to go into detail on why I'm having a C-section, why it's scheduled, um, things like that because I know that um, a lot of you may or may not know um, our history as far as pregnancies and things like that. I'm going to go ahead and kind of explain it and then get into um, what my hopes are for um, the C-section during the C-section and afterward. So as a lot of you may or may not know, I do have an incompetent cervix and I actually found that out when I was 18 weeks along with my son Dallas and um, I had a emergency cerclage placed at 19, between like 19 and a half, 20 weeks um, and that was able to buy him some time and my water broke. And um, that was due to because I had um, funneling and fetal limb exposure um, in the birth canal or cervix um, opening to where I was dilating. And I had dilated down to the cer rescue cerclage and that is why um, my water ended up breaking and um, they were able to keep me pregnant for three weeks and I delivered him at 30 weeks prevent that whole traumatic experience because that whole pregnancy was um, pretty rough and it um, was pretty traumatic for my husband David and I and we wanted to avoid that at all, at all cost. Um, I didn't find out until after his pregnancy that my second trimester loss, the baby that I had lost at 14 weeks, um, was most likely probably due, was was probably due to having an incompetent cervix. This pregnancy, um, we had decided um, two years ago on November 26th to have a transidominal cerclage placed. And basically what that is, is basically a um, cerclage or band, Marceline band that is surgically placed through your lower abdomen, kind of right where they would cut you for a C-section. Um, and that's at the very top of my cervix, um, right underneath the um, uterine arteries, or right near the uterine arteries. Um, and I had that placed by the famous Dr. Arthur um, Haney. Um, he is at the University of Chicago Medicine, and he does probably about 100, 150 of these. I had that placed, and that was done pre-pregnancy so that... Um, um, you know, I had the time to heal and I didn't have all the extra added um, possible risk or complications that I would have had if I were pregnant and had it done while I was pregnant. To do that and as you guys probably have seen, um, we um, went through fertility treatments. Um, I had a pretty long road to try to conceive. Um, I had to have my thyroid removed so that put it on the back burner as well. And then we were hit with um, ovulation problems and on my side because I was, I do have PCOS. Shortly thereafter, um, we were able to conceive after stopping my fifth round of Clomid and unfortunately I did lose that baby. Shortly after losing that baby, my um, obstetrician had suggested that I get some more fertility testing done and have a hysteroscopy to look at the lining of my uterus and to see if there were any obstructions or any um, fibroids or anything of that sort that would cause um, future pregnancies um, to be at risk. And um, right before we were to have that done, right before I was to have that done, I found out that we were expecting again. It completely took us by surprise. Um, it was really difficult during that time because I was still grieving over the loss. And then I was also kind of, um, and I was also blessed with this new pregnancy and I wasn't sure how to handle that. And um, it was really difficult in the beginning. And um, I didn't talk too much about that just because... Um, it was, you know, it was so hard um, to grieve and then fear that, you know, the same thing is going to happen again. And as far as the C-section, because I did have, um, because I do have the abdominal cerclage or transabdominal cerclage, I cannot deliver, um, I cannot deliver vaginally because the cerclage is permanent. And I knew that going in, um, I knew that I wouldn't be able to ever deliver um future pregnancies vaginally, which was a really hard decision for me because I did, you know, um, I did want to have a natural birth. I did want to have it with Dallas as well, but, you know, certain circumstances 
happened and I wasn't able to have that and um, um, I knew that going into getting this done that I would um, need to have a cesarean delivery. Sad on that, you know, um, for two years, for these two years, and I know that this is the only way she's going to come out. Um, but I do have some options on um, what my hopes are, what I hope um, can be done, and hopefully will happen. Um, the first thing is, obviously, I don't want them to cut the cerclage, remove the the cerclage or move it or touch it or anything of that sort. Um, that is my number one thing that I want them to know is that they cannot um, mess with that at all whatsoever. So Dave and I have talked about, you know, the possibility of having one more baby. Um, right now, that's <laughs> not, that's, you know, the farthest thing from our mind, but um, we still want that safety net there if we decide to have more children in the future. Um, so they, we are letting them know 100% that they cannot touch that, move it, anything of that sort. Um, the next thing is, is that I want to breastfeed as soon as possible. Um, I want to do skin to skin as soon as possible because I know how important that is for uh, my milk production and for the bonding experience as well. I also want her to be in the room with us at all times. Um, I only, I'm only okay with her going to the nursery for testing. Um, but other than that, I would like um, for her to be with us at all times, um, unless she were need to go to the NICU or something of that sort, obviously, um, then she wouldn't be able to be with us. I'd like my hands to be free during the surgery. Um, I'm, I don't know if my doctor honors that or not. Um, that's still something I have to talk to him about. Um, but I would like my arms free during surgery so I'm able to hold her or, you know, kind of touch her at least um, after she's born. Um, we're also going to be asking about Dave having the possibility of cutting her umbilical cord. I'm not sure if they'll let him do that, um, but that's something that he really wants to do and something that I think is important for him to do so that he can feel as involved as possible. We're unsure about the vitamin K drops. Um, there is some con controversy on that, so I won't go into detail on that, um, but you are free to do your own research. Um, we're still trying to decide, or at least I'm still trying to decide if I want to do those. We are going to be doing disposables at least for the first week of her life. Um, I I was pretty unsure if I was going to be able to cloth diaper, um, but thankfully I have some family and Dave's co-workers were able to, um, um, you know, were generous enough to give us cloth diapers, um, so we're able to do that, which I'm very excited about. Um, I have, I was really worried that I wasn't going to be able to do it, um, because I did want to do it, um, so, but, um, but for the first week of her life, I do plan on using um, disposables or natural disposables like the Honest Company. I wanted to let you guys know that I am exclusively breastfeeding. Um, I am getting a breast pump just in case I need it if I have an overproduction and I need to pump after, um, you know, after she's done feeding. Um, also, if I need to leave the house for any sort of reason at all, um, you know, or if Dave wants to feed her while he's here. Um, um, I want to have that as well, um, but I do not plan to supplement at all. I do plan to exclusively breastfeed, and that's pretty much it. Um, there really isn't much. Um, I'm sorry that this video is super short, but I just kind of wanted to let you guys know, um, you know, what what we were thinking, what our options are, how we hope things will go. I know that. Um, you know, birth plans can always go differently, which is completely fine with me. Um, I still have to talk to my doctor about a lot of these things, obviously. Um, but that's just kind of where, um, I guess, our mindset is as far as how we want things to go or hope, hope things will go. Um, but if you guys have any suggestions or tips or if you have a birth plan that you would like to share, um, let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys for my next video.